This uh, model review is of the German Panzer, and this is from 1945. This is the 172nd model, and it's by Unimax. It's part of the Forces of Valor collection, and uh, some nice box art. This clearly appears to be hand painted. This uh, finished version. And over here, you do see a picture of the uh, finished model. Let's have a look inside. So there really isn't any flashing. There's a fair level of detail and a lot of parts to put together. Here's the main gun. There are some decent details here. This is the spare track. It's normally carried uh, with the tank so it can be repaired in the field. Actually, you can see it here on this uh, on this picture. Here's the top of the uh, turret, which has got some nice details on it. Here's the main hull, and has a lot of detail on it. Here you can see the tools that are molded in, and those can be painted separately. There's the body of the hull, all the wheels, not a lot of detail on the inside, but most of it will be covered up anyway. Let's have a look at these wheels and the cogs. So these wheels have a lot of detail. Each of these holes are drilled out. There'll be one or two that need to be drilled again, but there's a lot of detail here. It definitely looks like it's going to be a good model to make. Let's have a look at the tracks. So again, we have a figure here. I don't see any decals. But these tracks are nice, flexible vinyl. And here is our main guy, and you can see here he's got a lot of detail on him. Let's check out the instructions. So first of all, they list all the parts. Here's instructions for assembly of the tracks, because it's made out of the vinyl, you'll need to use uh, super glue. Placement of the wheels. Most of these can probably all be put together before you paint them, leaving just the tracks off. Wheels going on. Some of the details that are being put together of the top of the hole. Then beginning the turret. Finishing up the turret here with the main gun. Some of the armor. Placement of your figure and then additional armor. And instructions on how to paint. As well as the paints needed. Well, that's actually a surprisingly detailed kit. Really, there's no flashing, lots of detail, lots of parts. Um, I'm very surprised. I've actually had another Forces of Valor kit that's very detailed, uh, even in 172nd scale. Uh, that's a very good quality kit.